Hello, Kiss Army. I'm Pasquale Veri. And I am Claudius Perra. Welcome to Let Me Know a Short Kiss. Well, we all love receiving packages in the mail, right? Nothing, though, compares to a kiss package. And recently, we received the Kiss in Japan newsletter, The Last Kiss, our topic for today's short. Before getting deep into uh, our discussion, uh, we would like to always, you know, uh, recognize and acknowledge, you know, the, the comments that you're sending us. And uh, specifically in this case, we're going to mention some uh, some of the comments that we got on our latest, uh, you know, Ace Freely uh, short talk and short kiss. So, for instance, um, uh, we we got something from uh, uh, Rich uh, Charvel, which is uh, he said he's saying. I used to be a big Ace fan, but not anymore. Over the years, his attitude, interviews, and groupie girlfriends have been ridiculous. He also sounds bitter that he wasn't part of the end of the road tour. Peter Chris has been my favorite member. He stayed out of the drama and seems very happy in recent years. And the second one from Alf in Argentina, again, our big uh, one of our loyal fans, Every day I lose more interest in Ace, especially after the end of the road tour. So he leaves talking bad about Kiss and his shows are 90% Kiss songs. He's fully right. He should learn a little bit from Bruce. So, um, well, having read that, so now we can get into uh, into our discussion, Pask. Listen, I, I got to tell you, you know, sometimes merchandise comes out and we're like, yeah, this is pretty cool. And we've often said that fan-made merch is sometimes the best because it comes from the heart, it comes from a passion, yeah. and it comes from love, you know? But, you know, the, the Kiss in Japan yeah. newsletter, The Last Kiss, that was more than just cool. It was special. It was Beautiful. it was personal. Um, we all got the End of the Road uh, tour book. This is the tour book for New York City. It was the tour book for yep. the final few shows. And it was so cool that it included some pictures from, from Montreal, Quebec City, to the shows that we've been to. Um, obviously, mm -hmm. New York. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to show you the pages. I don't want fans. I want fans to go out and buy this because going through this newsletter, it Please really do. is an experience, especially if you went to the final few shows, especially if you went to uh, New York. But you open the book, man, and there is like tons of pictures, tons of information. It's flipped through it, and it's like, my God, it brings back so many memories um, of that experience. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we look at these pictures. Yeah, we were there. We were there. Yeah, we exactly. saw that. Oh, we remember that. It was just incredible. Um, I haven't gone through it in detail yet. Again, uh, for this show, this was the first time I really opened it and really going through it like right now um, as we speak. But the stuff that's in here, especially the stuff on uh, New York with the New York Post and, and oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. you know, and, and the Kiss Cookies, uh, you know, just it's something to behold. I just the best newsletter that Alan has re released so far to date. Oh, absolutely. You know, Alan, he's. Uh... He's, um, we're so used to get, you know, really quality stuff, uh, you know, out, out from him. And, uh, but this, I, I agree with you, this special issue of uh, 40 pages, it's incredible. I, I like the fact that uh, he's uh, reviewing, not in detail, but he's giving more a fun approach, a, a kind of a fun overview uh, of, uh, of Sydney, Australia, you know, LA, Quebec, and, and New York. Uh, as you said before, the quality of the of the of the photos it's uh, it's uh, amazing, and um, I I went through it you know trying to kind of digest every single word that uh, Alain was putting there, and I really loved uh, you know you're gonna get there when when you when you read it uh, you know the La La Land that's lovely so for every for everyone that uh, you're gonna get it. Please do, you know, if you don't have it yet, please, please have it. And you're going to have a blast just by reading, you know, the La La Land session on the uh, on the New York uh, shows, uh, which basically, you know, explains what our expectations were for the for those special last show and more more specifically for the December 2nd and what really happened. 
But what I love about Alain, he's in, he's now going into the criticism or anything like that. Yeah. <clears throat> he's just stating the facts and he's giving his opinion, but uh, he he wraps it up with a positive message that we always do here in our show. You know, thanking, you know, Kiss and every single member of the band for everything that they've done over the last 50 years. Uh, you know, you, you, you can't skip this issue. You have to get it. You have to get it. Imagine ending this issue with a commercial about the next issue. That's not something he did. He did something that <laughs> exactly. Kiss should have done exactly. and basically exactly. ended the issue with the vintage page thanking oh, yeah. many of the people that made it possible for, for Kiss to be on that stage 50 years later. Now, if that's not a class act, I don't, I, I don't know what, what, what is, you know? And, and, you know, out of 40 pages, he dedicated one page. But that single mm -hmm. one page made this entire package so special. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Kiss could have done the exact same thing. And yeah. But you know what? This book makes up for some of the downfalls of, in my opinion, the final two shows. And regardless of what happens, the final two shows, now that it's over, we only look back at it in a positive way. We think back of the connections we made with people, uh, the fun that we had. It's never it's gonna never gonna happen again. And this book is sort of like a, a reminder that you were there and appreciate that you were there because not everybody could. And it was yeah. really a special time. And yeah. we were privileged to be a part of this experience. And this book will always be a reminder of that. Absolutely, you know, and and out of the old all the merch that uh, you know the bank was uh, was promoting, you know, in the uh, in the pop up store and uh, even at uh, at Madison Square Garden. To me, this is the perfect souvenir of uh, our weekend there. You know, so when as I was going through it, kind of, and and I love that Alan he he you know he released it at the right time because you know we're still kind of warm with what happened in December. And I think that if, if he could have waited longer, maybe the effect was not going to be the same. But the fact that we're having that in our hands now, it makes it even more special just to revive, you know, everything that we went through. And um, again, as I said before, the, the fact that he reviewed, you know, all those four shows, that, that makes it also even more special. He's not concentrating just on New York, but he also took the time to, to show what happened in Montreal and Quebec, Sydney and, and LA, and uh, giving his own spin as he normally does. No. So let me ask you something. Did you get the Kiss in Japan newsletter, The Last Kiss? So what did you think of it? So please let us know in the comment section. And if you want a copy, you just go to www.kissontour74-83.com, www.kissontour74-83.com and order your copy right away, please. I just want to end the episode by saying I we just had a birthday bash at my place here in Montreal to celebrate uh, Paul Stanley's uh, 72nd birthday. And we had a picture with seven of us holding the book that we all bought. And we gave it to Alan. Alan was really, uh, really pleased with that. But if you look at that picture on my Facebook, you see seven really happy people with this book. And if you get this book, guys, you're going to be just as happy. You will not be disappointed. Check out Kiss on Tour, and you will not be disappointed. Get a copy of this book right away. Like and subscribe, and we will talk to you soon. Take care, everyone.